This video is going to teach you what you need to know about carbohydrates. Um, the first thing that we're going to discuss is what a carbohydrate is. Uh, basically, there are any starches or sugars that are found in your food. Uh, if you've ever taken chemistry class or maybe in science you learned uh, about the different elements, uh, carbohydrates are made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. They're really the body's preferred source of energy. Uh, so if you were going to do something that involved using a lot of energy, like uh, for instance a marathon, you maybe have heard about people who carbo-loaded, that's because they need a lot of energy to run the race that they're doing. Uh, finally, carbohydrates are a macronutrient, which means that uh, it's something that's energy producing, that's what macronutrient is, what that classification means. Uh, it also means that it's something that's a source of calories. So anytime that you consume carbohydrates, you are getting calories. Uh, there's a couple different types of carbohydrates. One of the types is referred to as simple sugars or simple carbohydrates. Uh, these are anything that uh, really doesn't have a lot of long-lasting energy. They're sometimes more like short bursts of energy. Uh, that they give you. So again, if you are thinking about uh, doing an activity over a long period of time, these wouldn't be quite as effective, but they do still provide you with carbohydrates. Uh, examples of any of those simple carbohydrates would be things that are like processed foods, like sweets, uh, any fruits or vegetables, uh, milk products also have simple carbohydrates in them. A uh, complex carbohydrate is a little bit different. Uh, these would be, again, for long-lasting energy. And the difference is that the sugars are linked together and they form starches rather than just uh, sugar. If you were going to eat these, uh, they would also keep you full longer. So if you're trying to think of something that you can incorporate into your diet so you don't get hungry, uh, you could eat things like whole grain breads or pastas, um, brown rice, nuts, potatoes, or legumes, which are uh, basically a variety of different like dried uh, beans and peas. Uh, the functions of carbohydrates, we already talked about one of them. Uh, they are really important for giving your body energy. If you don't eat enough carbohydrates, you'll probably feel kind of lethargic and not uh, really wanting to do the activities that you need to do throughout the day. Uh, we also talked about carbohydrates in a way when we talked about diabetes. If you guys remember, uh, we did a little demonstration where we talked about how your food is broken down. And we said that uh, glucose is what carbohydrates become and they are used by the body with the help of insulin from the pancreas to give energy to the cells. So again, they're really important for that process. Uh, if a person eats a lot of carbohydrates, so again we can think of that marathon runner again, uh, all of the stored carbohydrates that they have are called glycogen, and glycogen is something that's used uh, when the body is using a lot more energy than uh, maybe it typically does. Uh, and again, that then stored uh, glycogen is turned into glucose. Uh, if you overeat, so maybe you eat way too many carbs, then those carbs will be stored as fat. So again, uh, knowing how many is necessary for you uh, is pretty important. Uh, some important numbers to know when it comes to carbohydrates. Uh, this should make up a very, very large percent of your daily diet, uh, depending on who you are and maybe your exercise goals or what kind of activities you're involved in, or maybe your dietary uh, needs if they're a little different because of food allergies or something like that. Uh, carbohydrates should make up between 45 and 65 percent of your daily diet. So that's uh, just around half, or for most of us, a little bit more. Uh, something else that you should know is that for each carbohydrate uh, there are four calories per gram. So if you're looking at a food and trying to figure out uh, how many calories it has, uh, you can use the measurement of how much weight uh, the food is to figure out how many calories the carbohydrates are worth. Uh, finally, we're going to talk a little bit about fiber. Uh, fiber this is something that's found in carbohydrates. It's actually part of complex carbohydrates, uh, and they're it's important and found in plants. Uh, anything that your body cannot digest that's from plant products 
is uh, usually fiber and uh, it's something that's really important every day for keeping your waste uh, production working properly. Uh, if you ever experience constipation or if you have a family history of colon cancer or heart disease, uh, fiber can reduce your risk. And uh, most of us want between 20 and 35 milligrams per day and this is something that lots and lots of people do not get even close to enough of. And I challenge you to kind of uh, look at yourself, kind of investigate your diet, see if this is something you need to work on because it probably is. Uh, what foods contain fibers? Uh, again, look at this list. How many of these things do you eat? Uh, whole grains. So this is not things that are uh, regular white bread. This will be whole wheat bread, uh, whole, cere whole wheat cereals, any sort of uh, whole wheat noodles, brown rice. Uh, all of those things would be good sources of fiber along with uh, fruits, any vegetables, and legumes, which we talked about before, those are dried beans and peas. So that is an overview of carbohydrates. You can follow your directions now and do the activities with your group.